Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Shade Tree Vintage Auto and DD Auto and Salvage in Logan, Utah. I finally, finally have my actual absolute dream car, a 1970 Dodge Super B. And we're gonna try to get it running right here and at least drive it onto the trailer. Um, I'd like to take it down the road a little bit. I've got Cameron here, he's over hiding. He's gonna help me try to get it running right where it sits. And uh, we're not gonna drive it home, but uh, anyway, we're gonna go over it real quick. So as you can see, it is a 1970 Dodge Super B. This is my absolute favorite car of all time. And it's a great color, factory red with the black C-stripe or reverse C-stripe and white interior. And I can't tell you how long I've waited to actually have another one. I had a six pack car several years ago that I had to sell due to certain circumstances and been wanting another one since. And uh, I'm almost like speechless because I'm just so excited. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what to say. This has been my favorite car forever and it's great color. Um, as some of you know, oh, by the way, yeah, see the pistol grip? It's a four speed car with a 383. Um, last registered in 1983, which happens to be the year that I was born. Um, you can see that it's not for sale, and that uh, that still remains true. It's not for sale. Um, has the 383. And let me get over here without tripping or falling through the building. Has the 383 in it, and it does have a bulge hood. It's just not on it currently, but it will be by the time we leave. Um, fender tag's still there. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to uh, work on this and go over it a little more with you. So we'll go over it a little bit more and then we're gonna actually try to fire it up and get it put in the shop. Like I said, last time I was registered was 1983, but they actually had this picture. And this picture is from back in the day in, uh, when it was nice. And uh, like I said, it's pistol grip four speed. I have to open the door from in here and it still has that nice new mouse smell to it it's awesome that's that's like the worst part that i can find because i'm just more than excited for this thing um anyway we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get these tires to take air and get it pulled in the shop so we can actually work on it So they are letting us use the shop. So Cameron and I are gonna be in here till probably, you know, it runs, maybe. Um, playing with it. Got one of my Kregers on there and always wanted a 70 Super B with Kreger SSTs and now it's gonna happen. I can't wait. Anyway, we're gonna work on getting this thing fired up. Um, he said that they had it running about a year and a half ago, so it really shouldn't be hard. Hopefully, he said the carburetor's bad, but I brought one. And uh, hopefully this is gonna be a lot easier than we originally expected.
So they told me that when they had it running last, there were definitely some carburetor issues. And as soon as we removed the air filter, well, that's what we found. And uh, definitely, I think this is a Chevy version made by Holly. I actually don't know, but either way, it's not gonna go back on. So I wanted to try this Summit carburetor and it's kind of looks like it's based off of a Holly, whatnot. And uh, they're fairly inexpensive compared to the Hollies. Uh, so just figured, you know, why not try it out? So we're gonna go ahead and do a unboxing because those are popular. So, and I really haven't even looked at this carburetor yet. So this is first time. So and it's got an electric choke, I believe it was a 700 CFM. And get it out of the bag here, take a look. Sit this down for a second. So it looks pretty good. It definitely doesn't look quite like a Holly, but uh, you know, it has that kind of same basic design. Um, the rails and whatnot. I like how it has the glasses so you can see the bowls. And they seem to have good reviews. One thing that I'm gonna have to do that I will have to steal off of the other carburetor is the little throttle piece right here. So I hook the throttle back up. Uh, but came with the fuel rail and all of the other needed parts. So hopefully it runs good and we can actually give it a test. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny. We haven't even seen if this car turns over by hand yet, but where well, they said that they had it running like a year and a half ago, I have good faith. Uh, anyway, so back at it. So all the
Elon Musk charged a lot of money and he's not really respecting the so I've got the carburetor on and all hooked up. We're going to finish up the fuel line by where Cameron is going to finish up the fuel system. And uh, we might, might see if it'll fire up here in just a few minutes. I'm kind of stoked about that. Well, we are about ready to crank it over. Hopefully the battery still has some juice. I forgot to disconnect it from the last car. Oh, I heard a little sparky. So that's something. Let's see if it'll crank over first. Nothing from the key. Let's see, do you have a screwdriver right there? think the battery is dead. I'm going to go try to get a different battery. So take two with a different battery. Let's see if it does anything. Much better. Okay. Do you, did you already put the, uh, that in? No. And I'm going to open up the little climb. Get the end of the gas. Nice. Give it a little drink. There we go. And it's got a little drink. Ah! Woo! Do I still have eyebrows? Yeah, do I still have eyebrows? How about a beer? <laughs> Probably not as big of a drink this time. <laughs> you know, I do have a camera stand. Oh, we got major fuel leak. Big fuel leak right there. That was oh, fitting. it's out of the fitting. I tightened that, I thought. I think it's five eighths. Hey, we got fuel though. Yeah, it smells like burn. And I'm gonna transfer over to Stan, so just one second. Okay, now I can use both hands. So we give it just a little little drink. See if I can. Oh no. Hey, we have like 30 pounds. That's something. See if that back spark plug wire is tight. I, it was off. Yeah, it's on there. Oh, yeah. I got a rubber bunker. 
Uh, there is one right. You got it. Don't break it. Did you go the right way? Oh, this is great. Is that the right way? I have no idea. We'll find out. Uh, actually, there's no gas in there, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid back on this. Yeah, I don't want to spill that. Damn, that's a lot of fuel that it puts down there. Yeah, the bowls are full, I can see you. Combination of one ten ninety one, so it's one hundred. Roughly. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Exciting. Now to put the alternator back on, and tomorrow we're gonna take it for a drive. But I think while Cameron puts the alternator back on, I'm gonna put some Craggers on. Cause I gotta see what it looks like with the SSTs. So I decided since I've got my favorite car, I need to run my favorite wheels, which are Prager SSD, so you might can see it over me. These ones are a little bit rough, a little bit rusty, which is ideal for this car, because uh, it's a little bit rough, and uh, it's a little bit rusty. But um, that's why it's perfect, I love it. Uh, I'm not even really that sad that I had to sell the 69 Dart to get it. By sell, I had to do a trade. And I did a trade with my boss. Um, the people that I got this car from came to the yard and they seen a couple cars that I had that they liked. And they offered a trade for the 70 Super B because they knew this is my favorite car. Uh, so they offered this trade, and the only way I could make it happen is to sell the dart to my boss. And what is that? 
this has the right lug nuts on it, the left hand ones. So it's just the front that's not changed. So here I am. I spent a bunch of money on these correct lug nuts, and I only needed five of them. But that's not, not all that. So these were the wheels that were on it. Oh, big spider. Woo! I don't really want to get bit by a big spider. I'm going to have to put that other alternator on. Okay. It needs the what? It needs the dual pulley. Oh, I got you. Um, no, that was a big cow. He's still sitting here. That is a big spider for out here anyway. Now he's a big dead spider. And there's some pretty sweet spider and wasp nest. Dang! Anyway, this is going to look way better with my Crater SSTs. And like I said, favorite wheel, favorite car. I'm just in heaven right now. I, uh, the one thing that sucks about these wheels is putting them on. They are a pain. These are like the perfect offset for this car. So I hope I didn't just moon all you guys. They'll get more views. I know, I got, I kept mooning everybody when I was building the Super Coupe. We're getting running and everybody complained, but got a huge amount of views. So apparently there's a couple people who like my butt. I don't know why. I don't really have one. My, my grandpa didn't have one and I got his jeans. Like I said, these are a lot of fun. Um, but anyway, back to what I was saying. So the dart, I sold it, but it's staying in the family. And uh, so you, I'm sure you guys will still get to see it occasionally. But I'm more excited because hopefully you all get to see more of this and some other cars. If I can get these wheels on. First time? Nope, not the first time. They sent me the wrong ones. Son of a gun, they sent me 7 sixteenths. And these wheels require special lug nuts. Son of a gun. Lug nut, guys? Oh. That is a bummer. And bummer and three quarters. Son of a gun. Put the other wheels back on. That's sad. And even just getting regular mag wheels don't fit because if you look, those are a long shank, almost two inches. So, bummer. Hopefully, have some at the yard so I can put them on at the yard. Really sad. That means we can't drive it very much tomorrow either because there's only two lug nuts on this wheel. Oh man. No. Yeah, see these ones, <laughs> they won't even fit these short shank regular ones. So, oh, I have that spider all over it. Dude, that really makes me sad. on that wheel. Just finding bugs everywhere. So, well, I guess all well, it is is a Super B. Oh, well, that's true. It's Super B and there's a Super Cold Wasp on here. Should have brought the rallies. Come on.
Well, it's Saturday morning and we spent oh, about an hour and a half going to almost every parts store in Ontario, Oregon, trying to find the correct lug nuts to put those on because I've got to have those on. Um, but we didn't have any luck yet. But we're going to go ahead and bleed the brakes and, uh, you know, get back to work on it because I'm excited. Oh, Cameron's probably going to do most of the work. I'm, I'm pretty lazy. Especially if you ask Princess Dean, I don't do anything. We opened the trunk to see what isn't in there. And uh, obviously the trunk floor isn't in there. But that's gonna be no problem because uh, Dave and T-Bone from Rust Bucket Restos, they're gonna handle that for me. But something kind of cool, these old Firebird Raceway stickers from Boise. So uh, that's kind of cool. You know, it was raced a little bit at some point in its life. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go hurry and get the hood off of the other car so that we can put the bulge hood on and hopefully we found lug nuts so we can put the Krager SSTs all the way around. And then I think we may go try to take it for a spin. Uh, we bled the brakes. That one has a bad rubber line up there. There we go, now it's in focus. Uh, and I couldn't get one in time for the trip. So we'll just have to be careful and probably won't be able to drive at home. Uh, due to a couple little things like that. But since it's been a Firebird Raceway, I think that next year the plan is going to be to drive this from my place down in Logan, Utah, to Firebird in Boise and race it down the track a little bit. I think that'd be pretty fun. Uh, anyway, yeah, we're going to get the hood. Well, like I said, the Kragers are on. We now have the correct hood on. How awesome is the bulge hood? And uh, putting air in the tires, making sure they're good. We're gonna put it down. You know, with any luck, fingers crossed, we're gonna go for a ride in this sweet 70 Super B. Hasn't been on the road for 40 years and uh, just rescued it from this farmyard and Wow, I'm excited. It is back on the ground. Battery is hooked up. We're gonna hurry and try to start it and uh, drive it under its own power out of the shop. And uh, yeah, wish us luck.
part what? of the car. What? Coolest part of the car. The pistol grip? Yeah. Definitely one of the coolest parts. Whoa! Oh, brakes are woohoo! <laughs> Well, we got the first drive in, and like I said, it was all over. So, but look how cool it looks with those craggers. Definitely, yeah, torsion bars definitely need to adjust. Let's sit really low in the front end. There's a buzzer going off. Not quite sure what it is, but we'll disconnect the battery here in just a second. But like I said, we just drove it. The first time it's been down the road in 40 years. How cool is that? Well, we are loaded up here in Oregon and about ready to head back to Utah. Don't judge how uh, nice and not straight the Super V is, but oh, I am excited. Now for the journey home, and uh, we'll unload it either tomorrow or Monday and finish up the video. We're on our way home with it, and I mean, I just can't help but get some more video, because all I've got to say is hot, Damn, I love this car. Oh, jeez. Look at that thing. I, uh, I don't know if you guys can understand how much excitement. And I'll tell you a story. Like, I fell in love with 70 Super Bs when I was just a little kid. And that AMT model came out. And it was a sublime... Pro Street Super B and I just had to have it and I was probably only like eight years old or ten and I just loved it and then those wheels the Kreger SSTs also they were from the Ravel model kit with the A12 Super B and I loved those wheels and so this is like a one-of-one -one scale model to me because this takes me back to when I was just a little kid it just I love it. You know, the car needs to come up a bit in the front and go down a bit in the rear, but I uh, I love this car. I am so ecstatic. Right now, I don't even know if I care about any of my other cars. This is, this is an absolute dream. And this isn't my first, in fact, this is my fifth 70 Super V. And, uh, but this is my favorite one by far. And uh, I don't see this car going anywhere anytime soon. This one, this will probably be a forever car because huh, there's just not a bad angle, not a bad angle at all. 
And I know a lot of people don't like the front end of these cars, but they are just so aggressive looking. And I don't know, uh, there's a story about the car. So the reason it sat for so long is I guess the guy that used to own the car, he abandoned his sisters and took off running from the law. And so essentially he was a fugitive of the law. And so I think I'm gonna call this car the fugitive just because, I don't know, it's aggressive, it's cool, it has a little bit of a history and story. And uh, I don't know, I, I am so much in love right now, it's ridiculous. This is why I'm not married, so I can play with these cars. Well, we got back to the yard late last night, and uh, I'm still in love with this car. I, uh, again, dream come true. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna finish up the video here for the first part on the Super B that I'm gonna call The Fugitive. And uh, I'm gonna go order some parts. I think we're gonna try to make it run better with just the 383 for now and have fun. So be sure to uh, turn on the notifications and subscribe and like the video so you can be sure to watch, see what comes of this car here in the future. I've got a lot of other projects I really need to work on, but I wanna make this car run a little bit better. And uh, yeah, I mean, still almost speechless. Kind of put the uh, Roadrunner even further on the back burner. But what's really cool is I now have a 70 Super B in red, the 69 Roadrunner in Bahama yellow. I've got the curious yellow 71 Scamp that you guys haven't seen, it's back here. And the Sassy Grass Green Duster, which is sitting right over there. So I've got a couple high impact color cars now and I really couldn't be happier. This isn't the Curious Yellow Scam. In fact, this one's gonna be for sale here really soon. Uh, it's a 318 car, everything, and I'll do a video on that. But that'd be a perfect car for somebody to do the project cars at the Strip with. Um, and like I said, it's gonna be for sale really soon. But here's the Curious Yellow Scamp, and it is a real GY3 Curious Yellow car. So this one, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with. Right now, I think it's gonna go up on top of the container in place of where Sam's Super B used to be. And uh, eventually I'll do something with this. I don't know, but uh, it's Curious Yellow. I couldn't pass it up. So yeah, and I love A bodies, love B bodies. Uh, but anyway, like I said, be sure to like and subscribe, turn on notifications so you can see all the other things that are going on here at the yard and with my personal cars. And uh, now that the dates for mats have been released, um, which is March 15 through 17 in Las Vegas, I've got to start getting amped up for cars there as well as swap me all of that stuff and i'm hoping that i will have the super coupe there as well as the duct tape dart being there for the redemption run and there's going to be a lot of things changing with that so you'll want to watch for that and uh we'll have the max wagon we're gonna have well right now we're looking in between me and rust bucket restos and a couple of friends we're looking at like 15 plus cars down there it's going to be awesome uh so anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm so happy that we actually got this thing running, drove it a little bit, even though it was squirrely and sketchy. I, uh, wow, I love this car. Yeah, dream come true. Anyway, have a great day.